Happy Saturday morning, Bears fans. Harrison Graham here back with another video for you guys as the Bears have officially made another roster move. They have signed linebacker DeMarquise Gates, who played this spring with the USFL Birmingham Stallions. This kind of came through the waiver wire last night, uh, but there wasn't much info on it. Uh, and I just put a video out uh, from training camp, some news and notes, including Gates and some other linebackers working out for the team. Now that there's more information, thought I'd bring you guys a video here on Saturday morning before the Bears kick off another practice here in about 30 minutes as I'm filming at about 9.15, should be out at about 9.30 for you guys. So DeMarquis Gates, uh, 2018 undrafted free agent out of Ole Miss, has kind of bounced around in his professional football career, was uh, signed by the Cleveland Browns, spent uh, that year mostly on the practice squad. And then he played in a lot of those spring leagues, including the USFL this past year. In 2019, played with the Memphis team for the AAF, had 72 tackles, one sack that year, played in the XFL in 2020 before that shut down with the COVID shutdown, obviously. Uh, 32 uh, tackles, two sacks, and one interception. Spent last season in the CFL, played five games with Saskatchewan, didn't play much. Uh, and then this spring, played with Birmingham, like I mentioned, and had the best professional uh, year of his career. 68 tackles, six and a half sacks, which I want to explore more on that in a moment. One interception as well. So one of the best players in the USFL uh, this spring. Played really, really well. He wasn't really on my radar, but once I saw that he worked out yesterday, I kind of looked into him and I was like, this is probably one of the top five or six players that played in the USFL uh, over the last several months. So that is interesting. Obviously, we've talked about the Bears needing more depth at linebacker, not just because Roquan Smith is uh, sitting out currently as he wants a new contract, but even if after him, you've got Nicholas Morrow, who quite frankly has kind of been quiet at training camp. Joe Thomas and Matt Adams have done some good things, but pretty thin at linebacker. Like, you need another linebacker. I don't know if this Gates kid is going to be the answer of someone to make the roster. I'm sure he'll get a chance to compete for a roster spot, but uh, you needed more depth there, even if it was just to have more bodies during the preseason. So DeMarcus, DeMarquise Gates uh, signing with the Chicago Bears. Curious, did you guys watch the USFL this spring? And I don't mean like one play here and there, like at all, like somewhat consistently. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Did you guys watch the USFL during the spring? So he played his college ball at Ole Miss, like I mentioned, 6'2", 220 pounds. He's now two, uh, 26 years old. Uh, pretty good college career. Uh, back in 2017, his final season had... Uh, 114 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, two sacks. The year before that, 79 tackles, five and a half tackles for a loss, four sacks. Uh, and then in 2015, 76 uh, tackles, uh, two tackles for loss. Didn't play much as a freshman in 2014. So he's always been a, a tackling machine. But what's interesting and what he was able to add this year in the USFL is the ability to rush the passer. Six and a half sacks as an off-ball linebacker. Now, I haven't sat there and watched a ton of uh, his, uh, you know, clips from the USFL tape. It's not like there's a ton of that out there for the USFL compared to the USFL or college football, but that's significant pressure because it's not like the USFL had a super long season. I think he played in 10 games, so that's interesting to me. If he can be a guy that can blitz a little bit and get pressure on the quarterback, that could give him a real chance of making this roster uh, this year. So I'm going to keep an eye on that at camp to see if they uh, deploy him as a rushing linebacker at all because the more versatile you are, the better chance you're going to have to make a football team regardless of who the player is. Is, but like I said, he's never been someone who's generated a lot of pressure. He had four sacks as a junior in college, like I mentioned, but uh, none of the uh, – beyond that, zero sacks his first two years in college, two sacks his senior year, and no more than one sack in any other professional season, spring league, or the CFL, CFL that he has ever played in. So this is something he definitely added to his repertoire this year, which is a good thing for him because – you know, he's fighting for his professional career. These guys that are bouncing from spring league to spring league are trying to find a way to get into the NFL. And obviously, uh, DeMarquis Gates uh, at least stood out a 
little bit because he was one of four linebackers that worked out for the Bears yesterday, and he is the one that the Bears decided to sign. So clearly, uh, they think there's at least a something there. Subscribe to Chicago Bears now. I would greatly appreciate it here on YouTube. Uh, we'll bring you more Bears news, rumors, updates, roster uh, moves, signings, uh, players that are getting cut, which obviously a player was cut for this move. We'll tell you who that is here in just a moment. And uh, we will continue to bring you the latest Chicago Bears news and rumors. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. That way you never, ever miss a video. So obviously uh, with uh, Gates being signed, you had to make a cut for Christian all uh, for uh, to clear up that roster spot, and it was Christian Albright, the linebacker out of Ball State. He was signed by the Bears as a UDFA, and uh, clearly didn't stand out at camp. I'll, I'll be honest; I didn't uh, hear his name once during the offseason program or during training camp. So, no surprise here. And you see a lot of this, right, during camp. It's a ninety-man roster. Spots 85 through 90, especially even 80 through 90, a lot of shuffling. You know, the Bears have made a trio of moves uh, this week uh, by signing a couple players yesterday uh, and now uh, signing to Marquis Gates. And obviously with those three signings, three players had to be cut. So we'll continue to see some shufflings. I bet uh, this is not going to be the end of that, uh, especially after a preseason game. Could see more of it uh, as the uh, training camp period and preseason progresses forward. So DeMarquis Skate signed. Christian Albright cut. That is the Bears roster move today. We'll see if anything else happens uh, moving forward. Like I said, I definitely anticipate that. Now the Bears do have a practice today coming up, like I said, 10 o'clock central time. We will uh, obviously see what comes out of that. Uh, I've got a mailbag video going out later this afternoon, but I could always push that back to tomorrow. If there's any notable news coming out today, maybe I'll bring you guys a video. But uh, I did tell you guys yesterday, and by the way, shout out to everybody who uh, DM my wife Hannah on Instagram, telling her happy birthday. She was really pleased with that. Uh, so obviously we have some plans today. But if there's anything major, I'll try to get a video out to you guys. If not, uh, be on the lookout for a mailbag this afternoon. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at HGramNFL, Instagram, at HGramNFL. If there's any practice updates, I'll try to tweet or tweet that stuff out over there or maybe on my IG story, so be on the lookout for that also. Uh, so that's it, man. And USFL star to Marquis Skates. I'll be curious to see if he can uh, show Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus something uh, to stick around and potentially fight for a roster spot, maybe maybe at least a practice squad uh, spot as he continues to develop and um, add to his craft. Uh, but obviously going to be an uphill battle uh, joining, you know, 10 days into training camp here, trying to show what he's got. So he's in uh, on the 90-man roster. Christian Albright is out as that is the news of the day. Practice coming up. We'll see what comes from that. Hopefully Justin Fields uh, has a third good practice in a row. I think his last two have been pretty solid. Sounds like Friday's practice was his best yet, which is what we broke down on uh, yesterday afternoon's video. Go check it out if you haven't already. Full practice breakdown uh, plus the latest on Tevin Jenkins. And speaking of, we'll see if Tevin Jenkins is uh, at practice today. If not, it'll be his eighth straight missed practice. All right. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I am your host, Harrison Graham. We'll see you guys soon here on the channel.